Welcome to the Museum of Vigi School. You have just entered the Room of Organized Government in ancient Mesopotamia. Here are some interesting facts we hope you enjoy. Mesopotamia, one of the oldest civilizations, was in fact not in a state of anarchy, but had a monarchy which ended up quite well. There were many laws that were made in this ancient civilization, and most of them were created by the King of Babylon. We know today that there was some form of government back then because of the artifacts that the people of Mesopotamia left behind. Cities, tablets, and carvings are all signs of an organized government that took place in Mesopotamia. Persopolis, the, main, the magnificent city of the past, was located in Mesopotamia. The area teemed with life. People would go to and fro, and some were wealthy, others were poor, but this city was very grand. Persopolis consisted of temples and palaces, which are sure signs of leadership, for the leaders would accommodate themselves within the building. This proves that the city once had a government and was not in a state of anarchy. The city is in fact so well preserved that we can see that we can still see the king's quarters within the palaces. The throne of the leader is even preserved as well as the imposing stairs leading up to the palace. Persopolis government would have been a monarchy for the leaders were kings and queens, thus proving that there once was an organized government in Mesopotamia. The artifact which is a, which is a present image of the ruins of Persopolis shows the evidence of organized government. This picture shows a man from one of the nations the Persian king had conquered. This man has a gift for the king in his hand, and he is offering it to him. This was done so that the king would take mercy on that conquered nation. That's why it's called the tribute bear. These stone carvings were decorating the stairways of the palace. The reason why it has been included in the museum display is because it shows how well respected the rulers were, and that is how the government gradually formed. The more cities the ruler conquered, the more the ruler grew in power, which in turn helped him to conquer even more cities. The museum thinks this artifact relates to organized government in Mesopotamia because it shows that the rulers were powerful and they were well respected. This artifact is called the Stella of Hammurabi. It was carved to represent the usage of laws in Mesopotamia. This artifact shows the code established in the year of 1792 to 1750 BC. Shown in the upper part of the carving is the king of Babylon receiving allowance to pass on his law. According to the facts, he passed, the law he passed on was about causing justice to be in the land and to destroy the wicked and evil. There is another thought, which is that the law had said the strong may not oppress the weak. Although there is no proof for this spoken area, there is a large percentage which implies that this is connected to the law itself. The Stella of Hammurabi represents how the laws of Mesopotamia were made, and there is some form of government that Mesopotamia had. This is why the artifact was chosen to be in one of the many museums across the world. Our exhibit of organized government has been proud to provide you with the knowledge of the past. Be sure to check out the gift shop.